Yeah, hi there. These comments, I'm going to just call you AJ as a nickname. Uh, let's take a look at your situation. So you say, I'm interested in taking your online course to reach 100. So you want to get 25 points in each section. You took the TOEFL two years ago and you scored 86. You had 22 on the reading, 20 on the listening, 23 on the speaking, and 21 on the writing. You say, I want to take the TOEFL again in about four months. I'm willing to study three hours a day. I appreciate your advice telling me which study plan I should follow to achieve my score. Good question. Now, I have some study guides posted at my website, like um, uh, 30, 60, 90 days, so you're a little bit beyond that, so I'm not going to recommend one of those. But here's what I recommend. Remember that in my online course, uh, you have vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar. Then you have listening, reading, writing, and speaking areas. And you got three hours every day for four months. So you got roughly 120 days. So you're going to be spending maybe four, three to four hundred hours uh, preparing and studying. And you need to make improvements in all four areas, right? So my recommendation is, is follow your schedule. Is each day set aside time to study at my online course? I'd recommend um, just start with uh, vocabulary. Instead of just doing one section at a time, you might burn out doing that. You can take a lesson from each of my sections and do that. For example, you can do vocabulary lesson one. Once you've done that, do pronunciation lesson one. When you've done that, do grammar lesson one. And then do listening lesson one, then reading lesson one, then writing lesson one, then speaking lesson one. So you can kind of get a good, well-rounded approach uh, to building your English skills. And my recommendation is pretty simple. When you're doing practice in the listening and the reading parts of my course, remember in the listening part of my course, I have about 40 practice tests. Now, make sure you're taking notes right now, by the way. You should write down this information because I'm giving you a study plan. Okay, so as you do your listening and your reading practice in my course, focus a lot on note-taking. Obviously, when you're doing the speaking and writing parts of my course, again, you want to focus a lot on note-taking. Now, as you're doing the listening and the reading practice, take down the main and the most important supporting points of the actual listening and reading passages, and then using your notes, you can write about it and speak about it. So when you're writing about lectures and reading passages, try to write approximately 150 to 250 words about that. That's called a summary. And that's very good practice for your integrated writing. You see what I'm saying? So that's going to be good. Now, in addition, as you're doing the listening and reading practice, you can also speak about the information using your notes. And when you speak about it, do oral summaries that are about 60 seconds long. And I even recommend that you record the information so you can listen to those audio files again. You can check for your pronunciation. You can double check your language use. Make sure you have good control of your vocabulary and your grammar. And you can also pay attention to how you're organizing and developing your ideas, right? So that's good practice. Now then, when you're doing speaking and writing, you'll be sending me uh, emails, and I will be commenting on that by email, so you can, you can also do it that way. All right, so anyway, thank you very much. I hope that I've given you some good information here. So my recommendation is once you join my course, start going through the lessons in the seven parts of my course, and then maybe after about three, three and a half months, you might consider taking a full-length IBT practice test. That's a lot cheaper than paying $200 and taking the real test. So you take the practice test to get feedback. 
right? So maybe in about three months, you'll take a full-length IBT practice test. If you want to learn more about those, you can go to the pronunciation part, not pronunciation. You can go to the eighth section of my course, and you can learn about the full-length IBT five-hour practice test. Um, and I have a link to another website that offers them. I don't actually offer the five-hour practice test. Another website has designed those, and I use that website for that purpose. So you can check those out also. So I think you can do this. I think 82 to 100. 100 is a very high score, no doubt. But you want to spend four months. You want to study about three hours a day. I'm saying that it's possible. It is possible for you to reach your goal as long as you stay focused. And I think if you stay focused uh, on my online TOEFL course and you go through those lessons in the individual sections, you will begin to improve your academic English language proficiency. And you will begin improving your reading, listening, speaking, and writing areas. All right, so those are my comments for you. All right.